whenever anyone brings up cultural factors, something other than guns in any of these tragedies, what the left says is, well, you're just evading the question. You're just trying to distract from the real issue, which is guns. We've gone through all of these statistics. I, I don't see any reason to rehash them now. So, all right, we've addressed the gun part. Why are you not allowing us to address the fatherlessness part? Why are you not allowing us to address the social isolation? Why are you not allowing us to address the decline in religion and faith and going to church? Why, are, why, are, why is that the part that we're not allowed to address? It seems to me that that's far more the common thread here, even than the guns. You know, I, I will say the speech that I, that I gave was very different from the speech I'd planned to give. Um, mm. I've spoken at a lot of NRA conventions. Uh, I know how to give a, you know, barn burner of a speech. And so I decided instead to give what I hope was, was a thoughtful, serious speech on the nature of evil. That, 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 that was the entire topic of my speech, both the nature of evil, why it is that we have mass murderers. We have people who commit horrific crimes, whether it's shooting a, a school or shooting a church or shooting a movie theater, or you, or you have people that, that, you know, commit crimes driving a truck into a Christmas parade, murdering uh, six people, or, or, or setting off a bomb at the Boston Marathon. I mean, we are seeing sick homicidal people. Many of the times they are young, disaffected men who are alienated, who are isolated, who are, who are angry, the per capita rate of gun ownership in 1972 was 43% in America. The per capita rate of gun ownership in 2021, 49 years later, is 42%. Hmm. It's identical. The same percentage of Americans own firearms today as did 50 years ago. So that hasn't changed. It's not like in 1970, people didn't have firearms. You had the exact same percentage of Americans owning firearms. What's changed is the culture, the loss of faith, the loss of family. And, and by the way, the left, you know, when I talked about, you know, homes without fathers in them, and, and so many of these mass murders are raised with absent fathers, often criminal fathers or abusive fathers, but absent fathers, Virtually all of them. Yeah. Virtually every single one of these shootings involves a father outside the home. You know, it was interesting seeing some of the reactions of the left because it's almost pathological where they come back and attack me and said, well, Cruz is attacking single moms. No, I'm not. Yeah, right. I'm saying that kids do better with dads. I, look, I've got a family that has a lot of single moms in them. Single moms are heroic and and extraordinary people. I just wish there didn't have to be so many single moms. I wish moms had the help <laughs> of a father who was a husband and a, a loving helpmate in, in raising children that, that are, are loved and appreciated and valued and not psychopathic monsters. 